Hello, what's up? I am back. I'm in my little mini office today, as you guys can see. Um, I'm playing around filming in this room because it just gives me the flexibility to have a clean workspace and play with the lighting a little bit. I do have a light shining directly at me right now. I feel like the lighting still looks a bit off. Let me know what you guys think of the lighting here. Should it be brighter? Should it be closer? Like what if the light was a little bit closer? Is that better? Let me know what you guys think. I feel like it looks a little bit artificial. I mean, of course it is artificial because there's no windows in this tiny room, but um, it's just a nice controlled environment for me to film. So hopefully this turns out okay and I can shoot more videos in this room. So today I'm continuing on with my tools introduction. A lot of you have liked my first and second video uh, introducing marketing tools that I use as a marketing marketing manager and today I wanted to dive into a separate little niche still of course still of course very useful for all you marketers out there but I think this one is a little broader and can apply to a lot of different industries so today I'm gonna be talking about five tools that I recommend for those of you who are remote working whether you've started your own business and you're you know adding people to your team or your company has just went remote and is feeling a little bit lost about how to work remote effectively and efficiently because I know that can be kind of a difficult transition to make so I have gathered five of my favorite tools which I will explain how I use each of those tools to improve my remote working experience and how it can help you as well all right without further ado let's go ahead and talk about some tools that I love for remote working all right, we are getting so professional today and moving over to our second camera. How exciting. But um, I wanted to start off by talking about the first tool that I want to introduce you guys, which is called Remotion. Remotion is essentially a virtual office that puts your virtual, remote, or hybrid team right on your desktop. I've really been enjoying using Remotion with my team because it really has helped me feel like everybody's actually together and we can still share those candid and conversational uh, moments even though we are working remotely. It's a little bit different than tools that you may already use like Slack or Discord for kind of like team meetings and stuff like that or even Zoom. It's essentially more of a casual tool for you to connect with others rather than schedule in those boring kind of like standard meetings that you typically have. However, we do actually use Remotion for some of our meetings as well just for like brainstorming sessions or like water cooler talk. We also have built out a co-working room, which I will show you guys in a little bit. I love that this is a tool that sits right on my desktop and it minimizes really beautifully. The user experience is really beautiful and you can record these cute little moving GIFs or selfies every day so you can kind of show what you look like that day without having to like turn your camera on for every single meeting. It's just kind of a nice way to see what people are doing, see the environment, people are in um, and it's just a little bit more of a lively version of a display photo that I actually quite enjoy. They also have tools like emoji badging. The biggest issue that I faced with my team during COVID is just the lack of connectivity. I really missed being around with my friends, being able to work with them, being able to share music while we're working, jam out to the same songs, and Remotion has made the perfect little tool to help with all of that. Like I mentioned earlier, you can set up rooms. So we have a co-working room. And in this room, you can actually create playlists with YouTube and cute songs to listen to together. So when we wanna work together and we can't actually be together in real life, we can join that chat room and just co-work together. Know that we are jamming out to the same tunes and it's just honestly such a fun experience. Another great reason I love using Remotion is because you can integrate your Google Calendar so you know exactly what you're working on, what your team is working on, and when you should and shouldn't call them. So I have my Google Calendar integrated here and you can see at 4.30 I need to go to the bank so they know not to call me at 4.30 because I'm going to be away from the computer. And it's just a really simple and easy way for you to keep track of what everybody is working on as well as where they are and yeah, just whether or not they want to chat with you because, you know, you don't want to give them a call when they don't. 
The best part about Remotion, other than all these cute functionalities, obviously, is that it's free. It's currently totally free for Mac users, so all you have to do is head to the link in my description bar, enter your email to gain access to their site, you'll be asked to fill out a super quick survey about your team, what you do, etc., and voila, you can start using Remotion. Super, super excited to share this awesome tool with you guys, and a huge thanks to Remotion for sponsoring today's video. The next tool that I want to talk about is one that I'm sure all of you have already used and loved, but I have to have to mention it because it has made such a big difference in my remote working experience, and it is Google Calendar and Google Hangouts. I, I really use Google Calendar to plan out everything, kind of in tandem with my Notion system, which I've talked about so many times before. So this is what my Google Calendar currently looks like for the week. Um, I like to use Google Calendar to plan out all of my meetings, but other than that, all of the appointments that I have, all of the tasks that I want to get done, as well as little reminders as well. But when you're working remotely specifically, Google Calendar makes it so seamless to send out meeting invites to people so that all of the information that they need is right there on their calendar. So typically what I do when I want to send out a meeting request, let's say I want to do it for tomorrow at 2 p.m., I just create a time block. I add in what the meeting is about. So I can be like Terry X Angel content meeting. Um, I add the guests and it'll automatically populate with a Google Hangouts link, which is awesome. And then to add in a little bit more information, I can kind of add in an agenda here. I really like including an agenda in with my meeting invite, just so they know exactly what they need to prepare for the meeting and so that all parties involved know exactly what we're gonna talk about, how long it's gonna take, maybe it doesn't need to take an hour, maybe it's just a quick 30 minute call, and it just allows them to plan their time around it, plan their work around it, and it's the easiest way for me to set up a meeting, set up a call, or just let people know that, hey, we're gonna block out this time to work on something together. You guys can see I have several calendars set up here. So I have my own calendar, I have a work calendar, I have a content calendar, I have a health and wellness calendar, as well as a few other calendars like my Zest calendar, which is my agency that I run. And in separate calendars, they kind of have their separate tasks. So for example, I have my chiropractor, which I put in health and wellness. I have these orange blocks, which is my Zest blocks. And these are essentially just work blocks that I have blocked off to work on client work with my team. You can also invite people to your calendar so that they can automatically see everything that you have going on. I contemplated whether or not to even include this one because I know so many people already use it, but if you don't, honestly, best system ever. I much, much, much prefer it to Outlook. And if you are using an Outlook email, don't fret. You can still create a Google account with whatever email that you please. It doesn't have to be a Gmail email, so it just makes it really accessible for everybody. The next tool that I want to share is one password. I'm not going to log into my one password because then you're going to be able to see all of my logins. But one password is a great password management system for you to not only keep track of your own logins. Like I have so many marketing stack tools that I have subscriptions to that I have accounts to that if I didn't have somewhere where I keep track of all of that, it'd be pretty hard for me to sign into a lot of things. And it's absolutely great because you can go ahead and share your passwords with your team. So let's say we have a new member that joins on to our team. I can go ahead and make it super easy to share a password that's already in my database with them. That way they have access to all of the tools that we use as well. And they don't have to ask us every time that they need to log in information. One password has this awesome functionality as well, where it can actually help you generate a super secure password. And because you're using a password management tool, you don't have to worry about forgetting the password. So it can literally be the longest string of random letters and like numbers and symbols, and it will help you remember it. 
I've actually had people hack into my accounts before, so I'm super, super careful about my passwords now, and I make sure that I have a separate, super secure password for everything now, and one password literally saves my life when it comes to remembering all that information. So I highly, highly recommend it to anybody who is looking to keep their account secure, but also have a super easy way to share passwords and logins with your remote team. The next tool that I want to introduce is one that helps with time tracking, and it is a tool called Toggle Track. Toggle itself actually has several different tools that they offer, but today I will talk specifically about Toggle Track and why I love it. Toggle Track essentially is an awesome time tracking tool that allows you to track your time and help you time manage. I find that already using a tool like Google Calendar helps me time manage pretty well, but sometimes it is hard to gauge how much time that I am gonna need for a specific project or a specific task. So Toggle Track makes it super easy for you to track any task. So for example, right now I am filming YouTube video about remote working. I can go ahead and add that as a task. I can create a project, I'm gonna call it YouTube filming, create the project, and I can go ahead and click start. Then it will essentially just simply start tracking the amount of time it takes me to film a video. So obviously this is going to vary from video to video, but let's say I'm finished my video now, I can stop the time entry, and then it keeps track and says, today I filmed a video about remote working and this is how long it took me. Then it'll show you kind of overviews like this week you have worked for this long. They even have reports and insights telling you exactly how long you've been working on each like category or each project. Toggle Track does have a totally free subscription for you guys to use. So if you guys want to try it out, they actually have a lot of unlimited features that are available with their free subscription. I just find that this is the best way to keep track of how much time you're spending on something. And if you are a freelancer, small business owner, contractor, it's a great tool for you to use to start tracking how much time you're putting into projects so that one, you can charge hourly and the client knows exactly how long you've worked on something. Or two, you can start gauging how much time it takes you to, let's say, work on a design project versus working on a development project. That way in the future, you can slowly start to move away from charging people hourly, which I'm gonna let you know now, charging hourly is never the way to go unless you're like a consultant or something, because the better you get at your skill, the shorter amount of time it's gonna take you and you shouldn't be charging less just because you can do something really well and really fast. So having an idea of how long projects are gonna take you, how long tasks are gonna take you, can help you gauge, okay, this is how quick it takes me, um, this is the amount of work that I put in, this is the result that comes out of it, and this is what I should charge for like this type of project because you shouldn't be dinged just because you can work on something really quick. The last tool that I wanna mention that works great for a remote team is Truly Small Accounting. This probably isn't what you were expecting when you clicked into this video, like remote working tools, but I find that this is actually a super, super useful tool for me and my team to keep track of how our business is doing, our business insights, pull financial reports like profit and loss, as well as see who we've invoiced, who we need to collect payment from, and essentially just look at all of our financial data together. I know I don't often talk about this side of running a business or my job, but the financial aspect, the accounting aspect of any business, whether you're a freelancer, whether you have a small remote team, whether you work in a large company, is obviously very important because you need to make money, you need to keep track of your expenses, you need to file your taxes, and without some sort of a financial management tool, it'd be really, really difficult for you to do that. Truly Small Accounting essentially lets you and your team look at all of the financial data of your company together. So for the unique case like Zest, for example, all of us have equal shares in the company. We have equal like roles in the company. There isn't like a boss and you know, so on and so forth, which is typically how it works when you partner with somebody when you freelance, partner with somebody as a contractor. So I love that you are able to add in unlimited users to your Truly Small accounting account so that they have access to all of your financial 
reports as well. There is a really easy to use dashboard where you can see clearly what where you can see clearly your income and expenses for the year i really really like this tool because it automates so much of what makes accounting for businesses which if you you know didn't study accounting if you were never big on numbers if you have no interest in that sort of things can be very very difficult to learn so instead of having to enter all of our financial data ourselves manually at every time that we you know make money or pay for an expense it collects all of that information from you by connecting your bank account and then once you connect your bank account it automatically sorts as much as possible as well as match specific transactions such as payment to your credit card so that you don't have to do any of that work by yourself a lot of other financial tools actually charge you extra to add in users to see your account, which I think is so ridiculous. And I love that Truly Small Accounting lets you add in as many users as you need. So if I need to invite all three of my teammates into the financial reports, you can go ahead and do that. Also, nowadays, a lot of people are just meeting with their accountants virtually. They're no longer carrying all of their receipts to their accountant to meet them. And when you have a virtual or remote accountant, having a tool where you can give them access to all of your financial data makes it super easy for them to do your job such as filing your taxes. I think this is an aspect that not a lot of people talk about when they talk about freelancing, entrepreneurship, and running a small business, having a small team, is the visibility of your business financials and I think this is actually the perfect tool for you and your team to use that's affordable, saves you time, and gives everybody the visibility into the numbers that they need to continue to meet their goals, meet their deadlines, and get their payments on time. All right, those are the five tools that I recommend that you try out for your remote working journey in the coming year. I hope that this was helpful. If you have tried out any of the tools in this video already, make sure you let us know in the comments below what you thought about it, how you liked it, just so other people who are coming to this video as well can see how people are getting along with these products. As always, all of the tools that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. If you end up trying out any of these tools because of this video, make sure to let me know and tell me how you guys got along with it and whether you liked it. If there are any other specific areas that you would like tool recommendations to, for example, social media or blog writing or SEO, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below as well. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, do all of that so that you guys can continue to see some of the videos that I put out. And of course, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video.